Uh, American President Joe Biden uh, appears uh, decided to censor my blog yet again. Uh, there are posts what appears to be mostly concentrated to the state of the Israel that are being uh, censored. Those are a few uh, posts which I have dedicated and foremost indicated in them. Uh, what's interesting is he also censored a blog download that also was gone. That's wow. Okay. That's actually quite uh, incredible, the stuff that you see right there. Um, I'm shocked about this stuff. Uh, heh, incredible. But um, here is what uh, uh, it's not appreciated, obviously. The post I have dedicated to Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, it's it's a really good post because I have demonstrated advanced knowledge about the Israeli ground plan, which was and is basically just as I indicated, will be 14-day bombardment of locations in Palestinian part uh, known as Gaza. Uh, the military installations, important locations for Israeli military prior to invasion that Israeli military would use to uh, advance throughout Gaza with as little as possible uh, casualties. And uh, you talk about invasion. So the first is bombardment of important locations, and then it's a full invasion, full scale invasion. Uh, something. We also wow, I see here also something related to Prince Charles. I see that stuff here. Uh, they didn't like my pointing out what goes on throughout the Eastern Europe. Uh, it definitely did at my expense. Prince Charles, King Charles became a sensitive okay, they did not like the truth about uh, Alexander Karelin, I see that uh, how I was, how, what he, his trainer, his club where he was training, what he was used for uh, talking here about the torture, about the beatings and stuff, selected literally by the Kremlin to, uh, as a condition for him to advance his wrestling career, okay? They don't like the truth about that stuff, all right? So, uh, we will make this under a new version of blog download that would... Uh, If you like, yeah, you can do this. Um, I don't have anything against Israel. Um, listen, uh, there was a comment I got yesterday on, on my YouTube, uh, if I like Palestine. Well, you know, let me explain something to you. Of course, I like Palestine, but the thing is, I also like Israel. Israel hated me. Uh, Jews performed Magdaddy, father of all genocides against me. I lived for 11 and a half years in Miami, in area where it was not only our building, but 90% housing belong to Jews, 90%, basically 9 out of 10 people 
Wajules on Miami Beach, where I was, and it's where I was hijacked from. It's also Israel. It's also Jews that made my life unbearable in a in a great way in the West because it was Soviets, Russians, Serbs that used Israeli state, Jews in America to push hatred against me, problems against me, even when I immigrated to the United States of America. They pressured down through White House and U.S. Congress on every aspect of life to make one impossible for me in the United States of America, using a large British crown. Basically, they were used like a bridge between the Soviets, Serbs, and West. Despite all this, I do not hate Israel. I pity Israel for its attitude against me. Um, just as I indicated, this is a country in making. But setting aside all these issues, since I do not want to become absolute, as Schwarzenegger likes to use, uh, in this world because of the Israel. Um, but basically, public opinion is very much on the side of the Israeli existence. And I do not want to differ much from the public opinion, major public opinion. I, I don't want to distance myself from the fact that Jews suffered Holocaust during the World War II. I don't want to my family, both sides of the family, as you know, participated in national World War II national resistance. Um, despite everything that Israel did to me, and really Israel, Israel used me for profiteering, for incredible Jewish wealth explosion throughout the United States of America. Jews purchased entire Florida, New York area, and other parts of the U.S. literally through the oil trade with the Russia, literally through minerals and oil trade. Their economy simply exploded. Uh, weaponry trade with the Russia. It was. It became truly, truly a mecca for. weapons for all sorts of trade issues, literally through use in this case. Jews did not mind admitting this. Now, everything in this life has life expectancy. And when it comes to me personally and to the Israel, Israel came to terms that the only life expectancy is I should expect from Israel uh, basically a life expectancy expiration date, if you like, even if you take product of milk that goes sour and so on, uh, would be really a life expectancy, it would be basically from beginning to the end would be used for exactly what I stated. And when no longer convenient, Jews did everything, Jews from Israel did absolutely everything possible for me to hate Israel as much as possible. If they wouldn't have done that, they would not interjected me in a scenario of Gaza invasion, giving me in and out on how they're going to crumble one, even how they, even conspiracy theories they produced on how they are going to demolute one, destroy one, uh, through totally fake uh, issues that were involved. And they were not cheap with countries such as Thailand and other countries interjecting in this scenario, people that were involved in MKUltra. I would not even go into issues concerning IDF or Israeli females that were involved in MKUltra and that were killed by Hamas and this and that. I would not go into any of that. Many people were involved in it. 
and Israel did absolutely in MKL. So and Israel did absolutely everything Israel possibly could do to use those people to portray me as a paranoid schizophrenic. That is what, that's the iron mask which state of the Israel have placed on my mouth together with the Slovenia, with the Russia, with the Serbia, again with all others with whom Israel related Russia and Slovenia with uh, in 2013 for the worst, obviously, to get me killed. So they were not cheap. They invested absolutely everything they possibly could to make me, to portray me basically as a hater of the Israel. I told you that, that the main branch of work in Israel, in the country of making, is told you this is a country that will support absolutely any conflict in the world. Because as long as there are conflicts in the world, you, whatever the hell you are, will be prone to sympathize with such expansions to which we witness is going to, is about to take place in Israel now, through the Gaza. And that basically is through the righteous cause of Ukraine. Yeah? Ukraine has a totally legitimate righteous cause. Remember, Ukraine was all the way, extended all the way to the Caspian Sea. Ukraine, with borders prior to 2014, had 50% of its land stolen by the Russia. In 2014, it was eastern part of the Ukraine at large that was stolen, plus Crimea. And in all these issues, it was Israel that had embedded itself again, uh, expecting from the world, extorting me at large, whether you're going to sympathize with us or you're not going to get any support for Ukraine and this and that world will side with Ukraine. Basically, this is the way it goes. Still, as I stated, I do not hate Israel. And to the girl that asked me if I like Palestine, i tell you what, I would prefer for the Israel, since I am defender of the Israeli existence in a sense that Israel was there, it existed, and has the right to exist. Uh, would prefer to see Israel as a country, as a state, as to which Israeli Jewish people complained about was for them during what was known as a Palestine uh, under British protectoratum. You know? So where the Palestine Middle East was colonized by the British, uh, undeniably Jews always lived also together with the Palestinian people, which tolerated them. They traded with them. They didn't mind them to have around. Uh, so I imagined Israel to be, you cannot be completely harmonious country, absolutely not, because you do have to protect your national interests. There's no country that will go and assimilate with another culture or allow other culture to assimilate itself in one uh, to degree that would disappear, that would have at the expense of its own citizens. I'm not expecting this kind of stuff. However, I would like to see that the Palestinian, the new, the Israeli state, uh, would exist in a harmony with the Palestinian people as more or less in the same way as to what Palestinian people existed in a harmony with the Jews during British protectoratum, during existence of a Palestinian state. So I do not support genocide. I do not support ethnic cleansing. I do not support kill murder. Uh, I would just like to see that people work together with one another. Um, I do support Egypt. I do support the Jordan, Jordania, Saudi Arabia, Turkey's official stance. Uh, in this case, against the state of Israel. However, I do support also Israel's decision as to what I have to make clear, I am not against the state of Israel. I am not opposing to what Israel did. In other words, prepared itself 
for attack from the Gaza direction uh, by literally um, preparing what otherwise I see, I stated, I pointed out, it's going to be a total takeover of the Gaza. Uh, in other words, I see this as was rationalized to me during MK Ultra. Um, impossible to live next to the neighbors that would continually engage in terrorism, in terror uh, against you, uh, and even, let's say, fire across the fence on your property occasionally, as to what Israel witnessed. It's, it would be easier, much easier on, on, on Palestine and neighboring countries to accept the fact that Jews have the right to their own homeland, to the state of Israel. It would be much easier thing to do. However, this is, when it comes to the state issues, when it comes to uh, such a passion, very difficult and I'm going to say totally impossible to accomplish. Yeah, So, facts are facts. Uh, I insisted for Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Jordania, Egypt, to acknowledge attack on Israel uh, as a total violation. And uh, demand from Israel the right to enter the country of the state borders, of the state sovereignty of Gaza. Gaza should have absolute control. Palestinian people should have absolute control over their territory. It was offered to them by the Egypt, by Jordania, by Syria, uh, by Saudi Arabia, by Turkish, to help them ensure uh, their border. So there would not be distractions, there would not be terror attacks on Israeli soil as to what it happened or took place already in the past. And Palestinian people have rejected that at large. So I went on to support that theory about the neighbors. As a neighbor, you cannot live next to the neighbors like this. Your neighbors have to take responsibility for his own actions. If he does not take the responsibility for its own action and continue to fire on you, engaged in terror against you, uh, you have to take such actions that will ensure that that neighbor is uh, basically that you as a country, of course, it's not about the neighbors. Uh, the logic I'm giving you, my neighbors have eventually used against me by you know, stating that position themselves in victim, me attacking them. It was like this in Slovenia. So this is what I really resent to the state of the Israel that was, that have lowered itself to the, such a low level like this. Um, you know, this is just going to rest upon the Israeli shoulders and even engage in death threats further and so on. Very, very poor. Very, very poor when it comes to the Israeli state. Uh, in my case, from the, my point of view, uh, Israel gets Israel, as far as I'm concerned, in respect to my case, gets the worst grade possible. Uh, I will pursue charges, genocidal charges against the Israeli state to every level, everywhere, whenever I will be capable to do so. Uh, there is no such thing as forgive and forget here. Uh, but going back to those issues that I stated, existence, the right to exist, It's going to be a public opinion, the one that's going to be deciding uh, about Israeli fate. I don't have this kind of right. I don't. I don't. I, I don't want this kind of right to decide about. Uh, I met. I'm going to make an exception. Okay. I met also nice Jewish people. Um, that some of which even disagreed with this stuff that went on against me. Um, but, you know, I'm not prone to the nice, because nice in this case existed for evil, basically. So that evil marched on. That's all there was. Um, when it's educational, 
it's evil that exists for good to go on. You understand? When it's educational. In this case, the damage, the harm that was done to me, literally crippling me, uh, causing me cancer issues, uh, destroying my left leg, uh, spreading cancer through the body, uh, using psychiatry to injure even more kidneys and liver, uh, straps around my body with exactly backpack that you see right there loaded with a computer, something I did not report, but police officers, all the police officers had Fujitsu computers at home, at their homes, with one police officer who wanted my Fujitsu computer, no matter what. They had me pick up the chestnut with backpack and ropes wrapped around my chest and so on, waist and so on, carry around one with idea to intensify as much as possible injuries around my waist, etc., etc., etc. I will simply not uh despite all this stuff i will go with public opinion as per public opinion was not strong enough to condemn this evil against me which really in which good existed to cover up for the evil It's not difficult for me to present you the ultimate logic, which Israel prepared in advance so they could protect their interests. And what I also believe they had the right to do this uh, was basically, I believe any state that expects a pack should have and does have the right to prepare. Uh, even if necessary for a takeover of the neighboring hostile territory. What was translated to the public by Alex Jones, and I thank Alex Jones for that, for what are known as a false flag attacks, whichever case might be with the Israeli state, Palestine, Palestine should make sure that something like this should have never happened uh, they should allow Egypt to access to the border, uh, exercise absolute control within the Palestinian state and the, on the side of Gaza, Gaza uh, as well as other part of Palestine, to ensure that they have a total, complete control over every gun, everyone in possession of weapon. Uh, this is just basically these are facts. You know, if you can't do it as I stated, you should accept offers from Egypt, you should accept offers from Syria, you should accept offers from Jordania and so on to do that instead for you. It's a trouble that has caused a lot of problems to the Saudi Arabia, a lot of problems to the Egypt, a lot of problems to uh, Jordania, to Egypt. Uh, and it's the type of warfare that involves also children and female uh, civilians at large that are being used to uh, justify uh, firing, I don't know, 5,000 uh, fireworks at once on a state of the Israel side to overwhelm, uh, designed, as Benjamin Netanyahu stated me, defense system that if you overpower one, uh, it's a proof enough that you, uh, you know, that you committed violation, basically. I, to everything I have to agree with, you know, the state has to have sourced a way to control uh, firearms of their citizens, military, 
to uh, to be coordinated, to be you know, with international treaties, laws, and so on. You know, that's what I would like to see when it comes to the Israel, when it comes to the Palestine, uh, that the two would find friendlier relation, view, agenda, uh, and since. I believe that's not about to ever happen. Um, I am going to leave options completely open to whatever the options were, uh, you know, that these people negotiated during during MK Ultra. You know, yeah, you, you know, everybody has to expect responsibility for his, her behavior, whatever it is that you're up to. You have to be responsible at whatever the hell you do. There is no retraction of anything I stated on my new site. Israel did not even took effort to condemn Russian Holodomor, Soviet, Soviet in a parenthesis, Soviet my ass, Russian Holodomor. Uh, it was not Ukrainians that killed Ukrainians on Ukrainian soil during the Stalin. It was the Russians that populated a large homes of murdered Ukrainians during this 100 year long war on the people of Ukraine, extermination war on the people of Ukraine. And Israel did not even go to admit that Holodomor was and is a genocide, not a form of genocide, fuck you. This is a form of extermination more than any other form of extermination that exists out there. You cannot go beyond more than what is Holodomor. Uh, Jews complained about Holocaust. They complained about, they demanded, you didn't have to demand because whoever entered the gates of Auschwitz or Dachau or whatever, you were selected to perish, basically. There's no doubt about it. This was not a probation center or anything like this. Well, yet those were exactly the same methods that were used against Jews, Polacks, and others in Eastern Europe, Ukrainians, Slovenians, Croats, Czechs, Slovaks, and so on, to exterminate people. So how can you not admit, recognize something like this as a genocide, uh, when you practically endured exactly the same fate, exactly the same things, and you even attempt to hijack uh, issues of what we're going to say Holocaust entirely to yourself, reserve them entirely to yourself. You know, Go and see how many Polacks, Slovenes, Czechs, Ukrainians, Russians, even French, Italians and so on perished inside of the Auschwitz, inside of the Dachau. It was the Roma people at large that perished inside of these concentration camps. It was not only Jews. Yet you try to reserve something completely to yourself and you would not exist due to degree of resistance, military resistance that you offer during the World War II. You would not exist without the people that I mentioned. Remember that the one that let you go from Auschwitz and all these places were Soviets, American military and so on. Remember who opened you the gates of the Auschwitz, after all. Um, that's basically my official stand to, I am not gonna go and retract any statements to it because I don't owe anything. If I would owe, I would, but in this case, it's Israel that owes me for exactly what I stated. This range beyond slavery with the latest intentions of the Israel to get me completely isolated for, from international community and acknowledge me even as an anti-Semite. So that's all there is. Uh, I am going to put a new download link and you can download yourself a blog uh, at your will. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Here, I'm going to take, uh, it's going to be a date, October the 23, October 2023, October 
20 to 2023, and we're going to take a date and time. Nice to take this. I don't have to do that, you see. It's very important to be on the right side of the history, but also on the right side of the law. Also on the right side of the law. That's why I stated public opinion matters. To me, it matters greatly. And I will not allow myself to fall because of hatred issues that some believe are going to use against me, as I mentioned, below the public opinion. Never again am I going to allow Israel to put me inside of the psychiatric hospital, do the stuff like this to me. Never again is that going to happen for the sake of the special interest from London, therefore British royals and others, that I would give them the reason to kill me through the torture for which they took absolutely no responsibility and believe they're going to be in position to push me even further towards self-destruction. Not cool at all, this stuff here. Not cool at all. See this kind of stuff? Hidden? This is bad. We have seen this already in the past. Uh, hidden, 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 hidden. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. And so on. You can see exactly what's hidden. You're going to gotta be capable to download the blog. I'm going to upload this also to uh, other websites throughout the world forums and so on, finish the complaint, I'm going to fucking melt you down, whether you like it or not. You want to stop it? It's going to be difficult. And as usual, I am going to say to you, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.